Miss B. Hanley here, and today we're here to talk about different poetic forms, such as the Italian sonnet, Tanka, and the Villanelle. Patterns are often seen in different poetic formats. We're going to be taking a look at the Italian sonnet first. An Italian sonnet is also known as a Petrarchan sonnet. The format is named after an Italian poet known as Petrarch. He lived from about 1304 to about 1374. The format has 14 lines. The first eight lines are combined into what is known as an octet. That is, eight lines that contain a rhyme scheme of A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. The last six lines is known as a sestet and known for the following rhyme scheme, C, D, E, C, D, E, or sometimes C, C, D, D, E, E, or sometimes C, D, D, C, D, D. The next format is known as tanka. Tanka is a Japanese form verse, like haiku, except additional lines are added. The first and third lines of tanka contain five syllables, and the second, fourth, and fifth line contains seven syllables for a total of five lines. To see an example of this, the flowing river twists and turns and runs away, thinking of the sea. Through the forests light and dark, at last kissing salty waves. The next type of formula is known as a villanelle. Villanelles consist of 19 lines, five three line stanzas, and one four line stanzas. The rhyme scheme usually follows A B A, A B A, and the last stanza being A B A A. There are other rules that are contained within the format of a villanelle. For example, line one is repeated in lines six, 12, and 18. Line three is repeated in lines nine, 15, and 19. To see an example of this, let's look at The House on the Hill by Edwin Arlington Robinson. They are all gone away. The house is shut and still. There is nothing more to say. Through broken walls and gray, the winds blow bleak and shrill. They are all gone away. Nor is there one today to speak them good or ill. There is nothing more to say. Why is it then we stay around the sunken sill? They are all gone away. And our poor fancy play for them is wasted skill. There is nothing more to say. There is ruin and decay in the house on the hill. They are all gone away. There is nothing more to say. And that's it for the three poetic formats, Italian sonnets, Tonka, and Villanelle. I hope this helped you better understand different forms of poetry and how they can be constructed to create a certain meaning within the text. We're going to be taking a look at some of these poems in class, so please make sure you're taking notes and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in class. Bye!